Good, good morning, good morning, guys. Good afternoon, good evening. Denzel Moss, Denzel Moss in the building. Guys, I've missed you. A couple of days I've not been putting out a video, but hey, guys, it's always, you know, never too late. You're most welcome to my YouTube page. You're most welcome to my channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed, I advise you to do so. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if, if all this makes sense. So today, we are going to make a video about manifestation. So first of all, guys, I appreciate all of you guys watching me. I appreciate each and everybody of my followers, all you guys out there. You all loved, you all appreciated. This is Denzel Moss, Denzel Moss in the building. Lovely day, but I can't make the video outside because it's raining. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go with the video today. Guys, it's a blessing to have you all on board. So we're going to talk about manifestation today. Manifestation, I've already talked about so many subjects about manifestation. So manifestation, first of all, in simple terms, manifestation is bringing those things we desire into, bringing all those things, whatever we desire, into our physical reality. So I'm going to describe to you and I'm going to explain to you most of the signs you will see that will show you you're about to manifest you're about to win. You're about to manifest. You're a winner. So if you see any of the signs I'm going to explain to you in this video, it is going to show you that you're very close to manifesting whatever your life desire is. So we manifest, as I've, as I've always told you, we manifest by way of um, thoughts. Some things we think about, they manifest into our physical realities. Some things we speak about, they also tend to manifest into our physical reality and also some things we do so we can manifest through thoughts through deeds and through acts in either way whichever it is you can always manifest your life desires everybody i've got everybody has got a different manifestation that they want somebody has manifested a beautiful car for themselves somebody has manifested a beautiful house for themselves somebody has manifested a very huge amount of money so whichever way if at one point in time you've thought about being wealthy you've thought about being a millionaire you thought about buying that dream car of yours, Mercedes Benz or whatever it is, Range Rover, you've manifested, you've thought about uh, meeting your life partner, meeting your soulmate, meeting your love, meeting your twin flame, whichever way it is, manifestation is all the same. You manifest by way of thoughts, by way of acts and by way of deeds. Guys, I'm so excited to talk about this. So, the signs I'm going to explain to you some of them, not all of them will resonate with you, but if you pick out one or two signs that resonate with you, it is going to be the first sign that you're about to manifest. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're about to manifest and you're going to be make it big. Sign number one, guys. I'm so excited about this. Sign number one I can talk about. You have developed your own signature. So what do I mean by developing your own signature? You wake up, your, you wake up in the morning and you think, okay, I'm going out there to inspire people. Now, for example, you, 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 I, uh, in signature, I can talk about, for example, you can say, okay, this is my vision that I want. I'm going to do so, 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 A, B, C, and D. So you state out your vision to the universe. So you make that vision. First of all, you think about that vision, you put it on paper, and you start to act on it. So you develop something, what they call a signature. There are some people who have, who have gotten up in the morning, and, and I've thought that, okay, so from today onwards, I'm going to be a mindset coach. So whichever way it is, whenever you think about it or you plan it or you, you, start to, you start to structure out that intention, that is exactly an intention to the universe. You're trying to tell the universe that this is what I want to do and this is my direction that I want to go. So the universe, what happens is that the universe starts to align. It starts to follow your signature and it starts to align you with those things you need to achieve that exact goal of yours. So when you notice, ever notice that you've actually started developing your own signature, you can, you, can, you can decide to call yourself a name. You can decide to, for example, say you can be a mindset coach. You know what I mean? You can say you're a boss lady. You can say you are, uh, you are a, you are, you know, you are, you, you are, you, you, you can say, you can say, for example, you are a millionaire. You can say you are a, so each and everything you do, you stamp it with a signature because guys, all you, you always know that when you start to do something, for example, when you're writing a letter, you first of all write the letter and all the intentions and at the end of the letter you put a signature so in this way of manifestation of uh, manifestation the, the the manifestation games the signature is something that you claim yourself to be so whatever vision you have you put a signature to it i'm a, I'm a mindset coach 
I'm a therapist, I'm a doctor, I am this, I'm a lawyer. So when you intend, when you put that intention out there, it becomes your own signature. So the first sign I've talked about is that you have developed your own signature. And when you have done that, guys, if that was honest with you, comment in the section below, like the page, and let me and, and let me know that and also confirm to the universe that yes, I've received this uh, this number one sign that I'm about to manifest and I'm about, and I'm about to win. Second thing I will talk about, you wake up each and every single day with a very strong desire to inspire people. For some reason, whatever it is, you don't know why, but you want to go out and touch people's lives. You want to go out every morning and say something out to the universe, say something out to the public, say something out to the population, to the masses, to the groups. You want to take, to talk to them about something that actually may it benefit them it may or may not but most of the times you get up with an inspiration because you want to get out there and inspire somebody so most of the time when you ever find yourself that is my second sign you ever find yourself waking up with that strong desire to help people in whichever way you don't have to help people financially you can always help people by talking to people inspiring people helping them you know in one way or the other but as long as you're making a difference in their lives you just have to know it's a confirmation from the universe that you're about to manifest and you're about to win. In another way, you can help people. You can get out, you know, for, for, for whatever reason, you can just get out on the street out there. You just go giving handouts to the, to the homeless people. So you, you, may, you, may, you may have homeless people around your neighborhoods. You know what I mean? So you may have that inspiration. You just get up and you have that inspiration. You just want to go and give them out something, you know, give them something small, you know, maybe a penny or two, you know what I mean? A pound or two. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to be having a lot of money. But you just wake up in the morning with a very, very strong, urgent desire that you want to help somebody out there. It can be somebody, your neighbor, maybe they are, they are, they are homeless. It can be somebody who is in need. It can be somebody, even just advice. You can just find yourself that you want to go out and inspire and all help people who you think or who you believe that actually need some sort of assistance. Maybe they need emotional assistance. Maybe they need financial assistance. Maybe they need just something to cheer their day up. You know what I mean? Because it's not every day, every day. Each and every one of us wakes up with a very beautiful smiley face. Yeah, some of us, you know, you can get up with a, a moody face, you can get up with a, you know, a bad feeling or something like that. But you don't let that stop you. So you just go out there, you wake up every day, you want to inspire somebody. It is a, <clears throat> it is a confirmation for the universe, from the universe that you are about to win and you are about to manifest. So if you have been doing that, guys, keep on doing it. It's a good sign. Keep on moving that direction. My third sign, I can talk about that you know that you're about to manifest you stopped and you have completely stopped believing in everything you see in the media you do not believe anything anymore in the media recently we've been having all these cases of the covid 19 and all these kind of things so every day you wake up with the bad news every day you wake up you're seeing some some people are dying some people some people are dead every day you wake up seeing some people in hospitals everybody you know so everything the media says is some sort of a programming that it is made to believe it is supposed to, pro to to program you to start to believe in a certain way and it's supposed to the media most of the times you can find that most of the time most most of the people who are attracted and who are into the media tv i'm, I'm talking about these tvs what netflix what is this, this and that so all those things you're watching on tv they are starting to program you in a certain way and they're starting to change your mindset about the things but when you ever noticed your, yourself when you ever notice yourself that you have for some reason stopped to believe in the media and all those things you see. That is a very big sign that you're stopping to believe in all those things and you're about to become a new version of you. You're about to manifest, you're about to win. So when you ever find yourself stopping to believe in the media and all those things they tell you, you have got to have the confirmation. It's a confirmation from the universe that you are about to win because you are now starting to write your own story. You have stopped to believe all those stories they are telling you in the media. So you've started to write your own story. And it's a good sign, guys, if you've, been, if you've been finding yourself that you don't believe in the media anymore, you've stopped to watch media, you've stopped to watch all those Netflix TVs and what. It's a good sign that you're about to start writing your own story and you are about to win. Guys, it's a good sign anyway. Fourth sign I can talk about, you have made peace with your past. So for some reason, it has been very difficult for you. You know, it has been very difficult. You've been having a very difficult uh, job. You know, the job, you, that kind of job, even that, even that kind of job that you don't really want. You're not in love with the job, but for some reason, every day, each and every single day, you just wake up and you just want to go to work because you think, yes, you need money. But at the end of the day, it's not feeding your soul very well. You're feeling very bad about it. You don't like the job. So 
for either way, you find yourself that you've become peaceful. So, for example, you've quit your job. A couple of days or weeks or months ago, you've quit your job. You started to believe in your own realities, to make your own realities. And then you have made peace. So there's that serenity. You know what I mean? There's a serenity whereby you have made peace with that situation, whereby you have completely, completely stopped resenting. It can be a job. It can be a relationship. It can be anything that has been in your past. It can be a past behavior. So, for example, you've been having some sort of behavior. Maybe that kind of guy who has been... Uh, attacking people all the time, like fighting with people all the time, you know what I mean, like resenting with people all the time. So for, 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 so for some reason, for some, for some reason, you have stopped to resent and you have stopped to feel bad about the past, you know what I mean? So you just make peace with your past, you know what I mean? So you stopped hurting, you're not hurting anymore. That job you was doing, for example, it was hurting you. You was feeling very bad about it. But for some reason, you've allowed it for, the, for what it is, you've accepted it for what it was, and you've made peace with it. You say, okay, that was the time wasted. That relationship was gone. It was a time wasted. But I finally, eventually, I'm happy with myself right now. And I've made peace with my past. So that is another sign that actually you're about to win. And you're in the direction to win. And you're about to be a winner. You're going to manifest. It's a very, very good sign, guys. You should take note. If it resonates with you, give it a thumbs up down below. Fifth sign I can talk about. You wake up each and every morning with gratitude. You do not know for some reason... Every morning you wake up, you have got a smile on your face because first of all, you are appreciating the fact that you are alive. You've gotten up, you're alive, you're healthy, your families are healthy, you're in very, very good mood. So you have got a gratitude kind of state. You're in a gratitude kind of state whereby you're so, so thankful for everything. You're so thankful for even the smallest things you have in life. You know, this not everybody has the capability to be grateful for those things so some people don't know what is gratitude you know when you wake up in the morning and you find yourself guys that you're so so grateful for life you're so grateful for the food you've eaten you're so grateful for your wives you're so grateful for your husbands you're so grateful for your all those small things that keep you moving when you have got that gratitude you wake up in the morning and you have gratitude inside you you're so grateful for things it does not matter it does for, to be grateful for anything it does not have to be big things you don't have to have a million pounds to be grateful you can even have grateful uh, gratitude for even a pound or two you can be grateful for anything small you have in your life kids what pets houses this and that cars anything you have is making you happy you wake up in the morning you're so grateful for that and you express it to the universe that you're so grateful that you have been able to you have been provided with this and this and this and this or whatever it is in your life guys so sixth point i can talk about when you see people win i don't know for some reason i've been talking to some of my friends about this to this uh, this situation you know sometimes there are people like in your vicinity there are people in your neighborhood there are people in your neighborhood you may not be the same you may have something they may not have it they may have something you may not have it what you may not have so either way all of us navigate through life differently but for some reason every time you see somebody win so for example you know a neighbor of yours they have never had a car in their life so they wake up the next day you see them they have bought a car for themselves you feel so happy for them you know what i mean you want to see people who are achieving you are very happy about people who achieve whether somebody has bought his own mansion whether somebody has bought a new car whether somebody has got a uh, whether somebody uh, has, has gotten engaged to you know to uh, like been proposed to or something like that you are so happy uh, you're so happy to see them in that sort of in, in that state and you're so happy to see them that they are actually winning when you ever find yourself that in your heart of hearts you are happy for people that win when you're happy for people that win it is a very big sign and very unbelievable sign from the universe that you are also about to win because when you see other people winning, the universe is trying to tell you that yes, now is their time. So the next time or the next morning or the next week is going to be your time. So you know that in your heart and you are actually happy for those people who win and whenever they win, they have something new achievements in their life. You clap for them, you congratulate them and you always bless them. Very beautiful, guys. I'm so excited about this. So, I talk about... Uh, so, that's the seventh sign we're talking about now. You are you are having that... Um, you, have, you have decided that the job you've been doing before... So, for example, you've been having that job that you've been doing before that you, you've always known that's not serving you. You have decided to leave the job because you believe that you deserve better. You know what I mean? You cannot wake up every morning expecting the same results. 
each and each and every single day. You work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You go to the next week, you go to the other week, you go to the other week, month, year after year. You are getting the same results. So for some reason, you stop believing that, no, this is not what I deserve. This is not for me. You know what I mean? Yes, it was a job. It was a job. It made you comfortable for some time. But at the end of the day, you started to make those, actually, those aggressive moves. I can call them aggressive moves. So you started to make aggressive moves to make something in your life, to make a change in your life. And you've decided that I'm going to quit the job because I deserve something better. So when you quit the job now, you're starting to imp imply those, and all. I can say that side of you that, the world has never seen so you've started to apply that side of you and you started to create you've become a creator whereby you're starting to create your own things you started to believe in yourself you've started to do those things you have always put on the hold because you've been always and always busy in your jobs and you don't have time to do this you don't have time to do that but for some reason you decided that yes enough is enough i'm taking the steps i'm taking the necessary steps to make the moves i need to change my life for the good because you have stopped to believe that each and every single day you're supposed to wake up with the same results you now believing that i need different results i cannot wake up in the same way every every single day getting the same results i got yesterday getting the same results i got last week getting the same results i got last year so you say that no enough is enough so you're moving forward and yes you've decided to quit your job you deserve somebody something better so you're going for it it's a very good sign guys that you're about to manifest and you're about to win big in life Last point I can talk about is called you are living out of your ego. You know what I mean? Ego is that sense of I. You know, you have that thing of I, me, me, this, my, that, my, this, you know, I, me. So you don't know, you, you always, because guys, you have to understand that through our lifetime, we are programmed to live in our egos. You know what I mean? You are afraid to be yourself. You are afraid to do the things you've always wanted to do because we are always afraid about what the neighbors are going to think, what other people are going to think. Who, what is my wife going to think? What is my brother what is going to think? What is my sister going to think? You have stepped out of your ego. It is a very good sign because now you started to be authentic. You're starting to step in your own personal authenticity and you're starting to believe that you are born to win and you are born to live the life you've always desired. So you don't need any validation from anybody. You don't need, when you want to do something, you just get out and from the home, out of your house, Go out there and do it anyway. You do not you do not need anybody to validate you that okay, yes, now you need to go there. Now you need to do this. Now you need to stand there. You need to stand there. You have stopped to believe in all those things because all those things are the things that keep you from living your best life because you are not living authentically. You are just living to impress other people. So now you started to impress yourself because those are the things you believe in, is what you want to do, is what you feel the way you feel you want to express yourself so you have stepped completely out of your ego and you've started to do the things you always wanted to do without the need to be validated by anybody friends or family or whatever you're stepping out of that you can cry when you want to cry you can laugh when you want to laugh you can joke and just be yourself you can just express yourself the way you want to have it that thing that part of you that childhood childish part of you that has always been that inner child of yourself that you've always been that has always been embedded within you is starting to show up to the world you're starting to show the world who you really are not what you've been programmed to be but the person you came here to be so you have stepped out of your ego you're no longer living with your ego and you are actually moving towards victory it is a very good sign my last sign guys i can talk about that you are about to manifest you are about to win guys it's been a pleasure i just wanted to share with you this few subjects these few chapters these few points that would make you believe if you've been out there and you're just wondering when am i going to manifest when is things going to happen for me when am i going to be uh, when am i going to win when am i going to come out the other side i've given you the signs some of them may resonate with you some of them may not resonate with you but either way one or two signs will resonate with you give it a give it a like subscribe guys if you haven't done that share with your friends and guys let's keep the channel growing I really love you all, guys. It's been a blessing to have you on board. Denzomos and Scripted Denzomos in the building. Guys, until then, it's been a pleasure having you on board. And I'll see you next time. Take care and peace out. Love you all.